Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If your dream is to become a data analyst or a data scientist, then cracking the SQL interview is a very important stage for attaining your dream. Myself, I'm Melvi Prasad. I'm a mentor for data science and analytics. I can help you overcome this obstacle by explaining all the various questions asked in the top companies which are available at the LeetCore platform. All my code solutions for all the questions asked in the LeetCore platform are there in my GitHub repository. The link for that is available in the chat description below. And also, I have segregated the channel into 5 playlists, namely easy, medium and hard depending upon the difficulty of the question, the premium subscription questions of LeetCode as a premium playlist, and I have combined all of the questions into one single playlist, ordered by their sequence number. And the question which we are trying to solve it today is, type medium, question number 1126, active businesses. Let's see the question. Okay. They have given a okay, it is already asked in help with the one to two years experience. They have given an event table which is consisting of business ID, event type, and occurrences. And the combination of business ID and event type is the unique thing for this table. Okay. The average activity for a particular event type is the average occurrences across all the companies that have this event. Okay, I will explain that. The an active business is a business that has more than one event type such that their occurrence is strictly greater than the average for that. Okay, find all the active businesses. Let's take an example and see it. Let's see with an example. Okay, if you see here, there are how many businesses? One, one, one. Okay, business number one is there. Similarly, business three, three. Okay, business three is there. And one more thing, business two is there. Okay, there are three businesses here. And now what they are asking is, they are asking how many businesses are there such that the event should be having occurrences greater than their average and should be greater than one. Okay. Let's take for one. What is the average of one? It is seven, eleven, and one more row three. Average will be number of items. Seven plus eleven is what? Eighteen. Eighteen plus three is twenty one. Twenty one plus three is seven. Okay. Average of one is seven. Okay, let's see the event for second thing. For second, it is 7. And it is one more thing, 12. Average will be divided by them, it is 9.5. Let's see for the third thing. For the third thing, three let's take a bigger thing three plus one more three six average will be two by two so it will be four point five okay sorry it's not for a business id they are asking for the event type my bad sorry sorry it's not for that one it's for event type now if you see how many event types are there first one is reviews two things are there 
second thing is what ads right third thing is what page views how many things are there for reviews 7 plus 3 by 2 average would be how much 5 for this one 11 plus 7 by 6 6 by 3 18 624 average will be 8 and for this one 3 plus 2 by 2 it will be 7.5 okay now see with respect to each type how many are greater than 5 okay 7 is greater than 5 yes 3 is greater than 5 no similarly 11 is greater than 8 yes 7 is greater than 8 no 6 is greater than 8 no 3 is greater than 7.5 no 12 is greater than 7.5 yes okay we got the things which are there now not now what they're asking is per each business how many things are there such that it should be having more than one averages which is satisfying this means more than one wipe per each business if you see one has what three columns where it is having two ways one is having two ways three is having two columns where both are no so two is having three is having zero ways now there is another column put, called two which is having two rows which is having only one y okay now what they're asking more than one satisfying condition for each business only one is satisfying this condition that is why they're returning this so the easy way now should be uh, or we can do one more simpler way a smart technique instead of y and n let's call it 1 and 0 so here it is greater than 1 so it is 0 it is 1 0 0 uh, I think here is 0 and I think here is 1 instead of calculating thing we can directly do some for 1 now it will be 1 plus 1 plus 0 which will be 2 similarly for 3 0 plus 0 uh, wait a minute 3 reviews 0 and I think it's 0 only something I think for yeah sorry we have written in different order 3 for similarly 0 for 2 again 0 and 1 got it so what we will do we will group by the statements and we will check whether it is matching it or not and we will do that let's calculate the average of it first and we will check it with eighth column or we can directly create it using uh, a window function select from events all the columns comma average of occurrences over partition by each event type yeah let's call it some ag see for uh, ads we got 8 as answer and for page revenues we got 7 and similarly for 7 we got 5 okay now what we can do is we will create a new column where it is matching or not let's call it some with CD
select all rows comma let's write a case one statement case when occurrences is greater than ag then let's call it one else zero and as something condition from CTE. Here you can see all the event types where it is greater than the condition it is showing. Right? Now what we need to do? We need to group by business ID and we need to do the summation of conditions. Wherever it is greater than uh, 1, we need to return that. So I will do what? Okay, this is also something. So I will create this as with CT to as this one. Now from CT to table, I will group by business ID. I will select business ID and having sum of condition greater than 1. Ok, let's remove this one. Let's keep comma. So it's not here. Let's submit it. Okay. Our solution has been successfully accepted by the platform. Thanks for watching my video. If you want more detailed explanations like this, please subscribe to my channel and share it with your study partner who is also preparing for a data analyst and a data scientist interview. Just be disciplined. Try to complete all the 230 questions. One day you will achieve your dream job. Thank you. This is Samuel Prasad signing off.